can cost you your green card. As someone who won the green card lottery in 2021, moved to New York, moved back to Germany, and then moved to California for good in 2023, here are my most important tips on how to win the green card lottery, how to go through the process, and everything you need to know. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm here for you. The green card lottery takes place every year. It always starts in September, you have time till October to apply and then you have to wait for until May of the next year in order to find out if you are lucky or not. But first things first. So the green card lottery is not a classical lottery where you just purchase a ticket and hope to win. Unfortunately that's not how it works. You have to fill out all this paperwork before. So once you go to the official website link is here and i'll also put it in the show notes you can download all the paperwork it's like i think like 16 to 20 documents and make sure you fill them out correctly i know that there's a lot of agencies out there who promise to help you with the process to make sure you don't make any mistakes to help you if you get lucky enough to like win the green card lottery but honestly i'd suggest not hiring those agencies. The green card process is expensive enough already. So you don't want to spend another 500 or 1000 bucks on an agency like that. Second of all, there's no guarantee that they don't make mistakes. So the only person who can guarantee that there are no mistakes is you because you are the person who has all the information, who has all the paperwork, and you are the only person who can make sure that you don't make any mistakes. Also, if you really want to move to the US, you should be able to fill out the paperwork yourself. I'm not saying that to be mean, but honestly, if you move here, you will have to deal with a lot of paperwork. Not as much as in Germany, but you know. I suggest being fast. So try to fill out the paperwork as soon as possible once they have the opening for the green card lottery. Fill it out, make sure you have all the documents already. So you need your certificate of conduct, you need your birth certification, you need your parents information, you need your passport, your ID and several other things. It's all written down on the official website. And then take your time to double check all the information, double check everything, read through everything and try to fill it out as soon as possible. Don't wait till the end of October. I don't know if it's true, but I've heard from a lot of people that your case number, so the number you get if you get lucky enough to win the green card lottery, will also be impacted by how quick you applied. I was very quick to apply, even though I didn't really read through all the documents before, but I had all the paperwork together already. I just took, I think, a week to like really work through it, to double check, to read through everything, and um, then just like apply and wait. A second tip that might sound very spiritual to a lot of people but is manifestation. Honestly I've mentioned that before but manifesting was a big game changer for me. Even before I knew that I was lucky enough to win the green card lottery I moved to Berlin already. I started to sell things. I know that sounds very extreme and I'm not saying you should start to sell things already but believe in it. Believe in it. Imagine the feelings you will feel once you move here, imagine your life here, just like have a very vivid imagination and believe in it. The third tip is make sure you work with the right people. I can't state this enough, but even with like professional photographers, there are so many people who don't know the expectations because the green card lottery pictures differ from, for instance, passport pictures. So make sure you really work with somebody who's familiar with the process, you can Google it. Oftentimes they state it on their website, they tell you if they are like familiar with visa and green card pictures and just make sure you really get a good picture. Tip number four, you will not get any notification. So if you win the green card lottery, you will have to look it up yourself. Once you apply, you will get a number and I think you set your password. I personally saved all the emails in my inbox. I stared them, I downloaded them. I just really wanted to make sure that I have all the paperwork, that I don't lose anything. I like printed it out, you know, just double checked. But when I went to the website on May 8th and tried to log in, it didn't work. So you have to be patient because of course, everyone wants to know if they won the green card lottery or not. And again, like winning doesn't mean winning. If you quote unquote win, you will go through a page which says you're eligible for further steps. So when I read that, I was like, that's not a no. It's not a yes either. So what does it mean? 
it basically means that you got lucky enough to be drawn but that they have to check all your paperwork again and this is where the real paperwork starts you have to send in your certificate of conduct one more time you have to get all the vaccines so make sure you like probably to already get them before um, or like to get an appointment real quick because you can't just say no, you can't don't get the vaccines because this is like unnegotiable. You have to get all the vaccines, you have to get your scan, which I'm going to get to later. And just make sure you like follow all the steps, you fill out the paperwork correctly. You might have to go through like certain embassies or state offices and get the same documents twice or even three times, which, you know, can be exhausting from times, but no matter why they need it, just do it. Once you follow all the steps correctly and there are no issues with your documents and your case number is low enough, so let me explain that one more time. You get like, if you win, you get a case number and the lower the case number, the quicker they will go through your documents. So because there are always people who like send in wrong paperwork or who don't meet the qualifications, they give away more wins, if you will, than there are green cards. So even if your documentation is right, but you're just like way too slow, you might not get a green card because they already gave away all of them. But if you're being quick enough and you filled out everything correctly, you will get invited to the medical exam where you will have to pay all the fees, which is around 400 bucks. You will have to bring certain documentations. They will weigh you. They will test your hearing. They will ask you about your mental health history. They will scan your lungs for tuberculosis because they really want to make sure you don't bring any sickness or any danger into the country. You will have to prove that you got all your vaccines already. So this appointment is not an appointment to like get your vaccines. You have to be sure you got them already when you have the medical exam. And please make sure you're able to pay for all the fees because it would be so heartbreaking to like win the green card lottery and then have to quit because you can't afford it. I know it's hard, but you have to be able to pay the fees, to pay the fees at the medical exam, to pay the fees for all the documentation. And most importantly, to show that you have at least $10,000 in savings on your bank account if you get invited to the final interview. The final interview is the last step. So after you finished your medical exam, your doctor will seal all your information and send it to the embassy. They will then check it and make sure you're healthy enough and you're eligible to actually move to the United States. The reason why they are doing it is simply because they want you to be somebody who works in the United States, who's able to work to pay taxes who's not relying on like state support after your documents are being checked and everything is good and correct and in order you will get invited to the final interview i will give you a little timeline at the end of this video just so that you have an idea of how long the whole process can take it might take longer or even shorter for some people i know that it was like very quick for me but i'm gonna give you a little timeline later the final interview takes place at the certain embassy of your country. For me, I'm from Germany, it was the embassy in Frankfurt. There is no way you don't go there in person, even though it was still like during COVID. I drove to Frankfurt, I slept the night there and my interview was like at 7 a.m. in the morning. So I got there and I didn't really know what to expect. I just knew that I had to bring my passport, that I had to bring bank statements and some other documents to identify myself interview itself wasn't a real interview I was really prepared for like some kind of interview like explaining why I want to move there what I'm gonna do what kind of job I'm gonna do all this kind of stuff because during the paperwork you have to fill out all those things you have to fill out your level of education you have to fill out your parents history all that kind of things but since you've already filled them out they're actually not gonna ask you a lot of questions during the interview so the first thing you do is go to the counter pay another 600 bucks just for the interview and then show them your bank statement. Again, the bank statement has to show that you have at least $10,000 saved. Afterwards, you have to wait for a couple of minutes before you go to the next counter. You'll give them your passport and they will ask you a couple of questions. For me, it was like very easy. They asked me like English or German and because I was like super excited, it was just like uh, English. Then they were like, oh, so you wanna move to the United States? And I was like, yes. And they were like, what do you wanna move to? And I was like, California. And they were like, Okay, amazing, congratulations. And that was it.
I don't know if it's like different for other people, but for me it was like very simple. I had to leave my passport there, but I got my sealed medical records and they told me to not open them under any circumstances. You're not allowed to open them. It can cost you your green card. And then again, you leave your passport there, which was a weird feeling and you just walk out. I received my passport around six weeks later with the little stamp in it, which is like a um, temporary green card. And then you have to at least travel to the United States within six months after your interview. If you don't travel to the United States within fifth, this is the so-called activation journey. So either you move directly or you at least have to travel to the United States within six months of your interview. Otherwise you will lose your green card. I just moved to New York like two months later. So, so I got my passport back two weeks before I moved. I still had my sealed documents, of course, very important. You put them in your carry on. You're not allowed to put them in your checked luggage. And your first port of landing is your port of immigration. It's like, just like regular traveling, right? You go to, through immigration, you show them your passport and give them your medical documents at the airport. For me, it took like another eight weeks until they sent me my physical green card because the activation of the green card happens at the airport and then they it takes a while until they send you the physical green card. So you already need to have a physical address in the United States or at least like some kind of post postal address they can send it to. So yeah, that was basically the whole process. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you have any questions or need any tips. And um, I'm looking forward to create more videos about the green card, about life in America, but also about more personal things. So hit the like button and follow me and I'll see you in the next one.